Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video, it's going to be a nice quick one where we're simply just going to be going over how to create an interact prompt. So when you walk up to something you can interact with, it will come up on screen saying press E to interact or whatever it is that you want to say. Basically just something so that the player knows they can interact with this and how they can do that. So if I were to hit play, we can see we have a door over here. If I walk up to it, it's going to say press E to interact and I can press E and interact with it. And then we can walk through see, press E to interact again. And as I walk away from the door, that will then disappear. So it only shows near enough to the door that we can actually interact with it. So we have to be within the interactable radius in order for this to appear. And this can also be used for anything. It doesn't just have to be for interacting. So if you just want to walk up close to something and have it say something else on screen, this is incredibly easy to do that for. So this is what we're we'll going over in creating today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to obviously make sure we've got, we've already created the thing we want to interact with. So in today's video, I'm not going to be going over how to create a door and how to interact with it, but I do have many other videos, which I'll leave a link to on screen now and in the description down below to where you can watch how to set up a door like I have in the video here. But once you've got all that, what we want to do is press control space to open our content browser and we want to then create a widget. So we're going to right click, go to user interface and create a widget blueprint. We're going to create a user widget and I'm just going to name this one P underscore interact. The P stands for prompt. So I know that this widget is a prompt widget. You don't have to do that, but that just makes sense for me. That's the name of convention I like to use. So I'm going to press enter twice to open this up straight away like so. In here, we're going to add in a canvas panel and then also a text. And this is all I'm going to do. I'm only going to add in a text block in here. You can obviously add more if you want, so you can add an image, you can fade them, so add animations. But for me, all I'm doing is just a text block. With this, I'm going to set the anchor to be the bottom middle, the position X and Y to be zero, and then the alignment to be 0.5 and then five. So that just means it's going to be positioned in this area on screen here, and it will always stay there. You can obviously move that to where you want, but this is how I'm going to do it. Then I'm going to simply just set the text to say, press E, to interact. It's as simple as that. What I'm also going to do is set the justification to be in the middle, so it's going to align at center like so, and that's size content as well, just to make it look nicer like this. If you wanted, you could also give it a little bit of an outline, which is under font, I believe, and then outline settings there. Outline size of five, and then let's move it down a little bit again, so let's say four instead. So I've got something which just looks as simple as this. It looks all right, doesn't look bad, and again, you can add more, so you can add images, more text, and you can add animations down here as well if you want to fade on or off screen. But this is all I'm going to be doing for today. So let's compile, save, and close that. Now what we want to do is go into the interactable actor. So for me, that's the door. So let's go back to our content browser and open BP door here. And you can see in here, I've already got my code for opening and closing the door perfectly like so, and I've got my door set up in here as well. Now what you're going to want to make sure you've got inside of your actor is you want a collision box in here. So you can have a box collision like I've got, or you can have a sphere collision. Essentially you just need an area for the player to be able to walk into and out of and have it collide with. So again, a collider like this. If you want to, you can use line traces as well instead of overlap events, but today's video I'm going over overlap events. So once you've got your box collision in here, sized up to the correct size you want, we want to go back to the event graph, right click on box collision, add event, and add on component begin overlap. Right click it again, add event, add on component end overlap. So now we know when the player has walked in and walked out of our collider. Out of other actor, we're going to get an equal equal. And what we're comparing it to is going to be get player character. As simple as that. So what this is doing is essentially making sure that it is the player character that is going to be interacting with this. So if you have an AI, in, for example, in your level, if the AI walks up to your actor, but the player hasn't, you don't want it to say on screen, press E to interact, because obviously the player pressing E there isn't gonna interact because it's the AI that's walked up to it. So we just want to make sure it only does it when the player goes up to it. So I hope that makes sense. And we're gonna do that for both of them. So we'll just duplicate this, other actor, equal, equal, get player character in there. And I'm also just going to right click this and straighten it just to make it look a little bit nicer, like so. 
Then we'll hold down B and left click to get two branches, like so, connecting that into the execution of these overlap events. And the condition of the branch is going to be this equal equal. So obviously if this is or isn't the player. If it is, so true, we want to put it on screen on the begin overlap, false, we don't do anything, and end overlap, true, we want to take it off screen and false, not do anything. Because again, when we enter the box collision, we're gonna interact. When we exit the box collision, we're no longer interacting. So we want to put the interact prompt on and off screen accordingly. But first to be able to do that, we actually need to have a reference to this interact prompt. So let's go up a little bit, hold down P and left click to get event begin play. Or if you've already used it, just go to where you have it. Then we want to, off of this, get a create widget node, like so. Let's just move these down a little bit to give us a bit more space, like this. And in the class here, we want to have our interact prompt. So I'm going to search for P underscore interact. The return value of this, we'll right click and promote a variable, naming this interact prompt or interact widget, whatever it is that makes most sense for you. Then very simply, we can go back to our collision events here, hold control and drag and drop the interact prompt in here to get it. Out of this, simply get add to viewport. That will go into true of the branch off of begin overlap. And then we're gonna drag out of it again and get remove from parent, going to true of the branch of the end overlap. So again, as I said, when we enter the box collision, we're putting this on screen. When we exit the box collision, we're taking it off screen again. So let's compile and save this and hit play to test this out. And this should be working perfectly for us now. So let's walk over to it. We walk up, it says press E to interact and it's got all the settings we just set up for it, i.e. the font, the location, the outline, all that good stuff. We walk away, we no longer see it on screen. So if I were to press E here, nothing's happening. If I were to press E when it tells me to press E, the door is gonna open and close like this. So you can see this is working perfectly. And again, I can go through and as I walk away, it's gonna go off screen like this. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is set up a simple prompt which is gonna simply say, press E to interact when we are close enough to our actor in order to be able to interact with it. And again, this can be used for absolutely anything you want. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help me in the channel a lot. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.